What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome to Flotsam. Flotsam is a early access city builder survival type game all out at sea. Now Flotsam comes from Pajama Llama Games and is published by Congregate. It's hitting Steam early access in just a couple of days on September 26th. Before I hop into this, I just wanted to say this is 100% blind. I have yet to play the game at all. However, I have been really looking forward to this game for quite some time. I've been following their progress for about a year now, but have been unable to get into any alpha or beta access. In 2018, uh, Flotsam won the Rising Star Award at Gamescom, which is kind of a big deal. And then this year, 2019, they won the Best Unity Game Award at Gamescom as well. So, super stoked to be playing this. Uh, I want to thank Pajama Llama for the opportunity to jump in and play the game a couple of minutes early. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, one of the things that just immediately stood out from the game is just the wonderful art style. I definitely like the cartoony graphics, and I've been looking for really a casual base building type game like this to play for quite some time. Flotsam has been on my list, of course, so here we go. Let's see, what shall we call our new town? Well, I mean, how do you not name it Juistopia? And let's get started. Alright, so we've got some tutorial items up here. Let's just go ahead and pause the game for the moment and take a look at what we have available on screen. So we've got, see, camera controls, WASD... Rotate with Q and E, so pretty standard there. We've got uh, resources. You have many different resources to your disposal. The first few you can find floating in the water. Some you can find on landmarks, and others will have to be made from other resources. See some to consume. Fantastic. Then we got buoy markers. Markers are your tools in getting items out of the water. Placing them will send drifters to collect the objects in range of the marker. See, we've got a swimming marker, a marker that gets drifters to only swim to it. This one has a limited range, a boat marker, a fishing marker. So that's basically like setting the collection zones, I'm assuming. We'll have to get in a little bit further and check it all out. And then we got landmarks. Dotted around the waterscape, several remnants of the old world can be found. If you have a salvaging boat available, you can visit these and interact with them. Every landmark has different gains. You can see on the top right which landmarks are, in, are nearby. Clicking on the notification there or on the landmark directly will open the landmark panel. Alright, and we see right here, we do have our first landmark. I'm assuming this is it? Yep, sailboat on the rocks. So the sailboat on the rocks will let me a sail, some rope, and then some metal scrap, which we're definitely gonna need that. However, we're not to that point yet, and you know, we need to get just the basics started up. So let's see, we've got plastic waste, wet wood, is that wet wood as well? It is indeed, let's zoom all the way in so we can check out the sea level graphics here. Quite a bit of wood. What's this one? That's more plastic. So we've got multiple different textures for the plastic waste and the wood. And it looks like the plastic waste is pretty darn abundant right here where I'm at. So I've got two big pools of it. This one looks like it's mainly wood and then this one is mainly plastic. So let's see our buoys. Let's go ahead and place Press Z and X to change size. So we want this stuff collected, right? So let's place that buoy there. Now I'm wondering, do, does the buoy have to cross over our town heart? Let's go ahead and unpause it and see if anybody does anything. If we get any sort of activity. It looks like the buoy may have to to pass across the town heart for me to actually get it going. Let's see, let's go ahead and remove it and we'll place one a little bit closer X to make it bigger. That's as big as they go. Let's try it like that instead. 
And do we have anything going on here yet? Oh, we do. There is one of our drifters is swimming out, collecting up some goods now. And now do we need to worry about the wood over here yet? I mean, I think we'll need to eventually. But maybe we can just let these guys collect for the moment. Let's see, building. See, to start building, open the build menu. Categories show each construction's main focus. See, we got town, food, water, workshop, boats, and navigation. See, to place construction, you need to have its resource requirements available. When you select the construction in the menu, you'll have a blueprint of it where you hover your mouse. All right, well, let's get some constructions down and see how we want to get started here. Let's see, and we know that they want us... This is our first landmark, so we kind of want to... Now, are we going to need a boat to get over to that, maybe? I'm not even really sure yet, but let's definitely see what our options are. Okay, we've got a walkway, a small storage yard, a small house... Drying racks, woodworking sheds, a distiller. Seems like that's going to be pretty important pretty darn early. See the different boats that can be made. A mooring point. Okay, so we're going to need to get that down before we can get our boat out. And then navigation is sails. Alright, so first things first, let's start off with some walkways here. And I think we want that. Do we want it moving over? Over towards that island? I guess let's just do it. See how it works here. Alright, so we got some more drifters and they're getting to it. Getting the job done. I definitely do like the art style. I just, I love the entire thought of the game to be honest with you. It gives you that raft feel where you're collecting the debris, but uh, there's also, you know, going to be some exploration, all while maintaining our Yo. our drifters. So it looks like we've got a health bar to maintain, we've got a hunger bar to maintain, water, and rest. So, yeah, those are going to be pretty important. I think first things first, let's get the storage unit down right there and then maybe even we'll get we'll go ahead and get another another swimming marker in here what was it x and z i mean is there a point to having them overlap i'm not really sure still learning uh like i mentioned this is 100 percent blind so i don't know all the little tricks quite yet is as large as it goes though let's just pop that bad boy down right there now I do feel like what are we gonna need here we're gonna need some wood some dry wood so before we can even get the wet wood to a usable state we're gonna need a drying rack and we need four more plastics before we can use that or create that drying rack. I wonder what kind of goods are going to be over here. Seems like there's going to be a bunch of goodies there for sure. Alright, we've got enough for a drying rack now. Now, do I want to put it right there? I mean, for the time being, until I learn. Yeah, let's just pop it right there. I'm not sure if you need walkways in between every item. I mean, I'm assuming it wouldn't be a bad idea. But we'll definitely make this uh, storage and some drying here for the moment. Get some of that wood drying out. It's still being built, it looks like. Let's see, drifter needs. Here we go. Yeah, hunger, thirst, and rest are our main concerns. That seems extremely fair. Now, what do we have for food, I wonder? We've got that for water. Oh, here we go. There's a little fishing. Oh, we would have to set the fishing buoy. 
And it looks like I don't have that unlocked yet, or it's not usable quite yet. Is it because there's no fish? There's gotta be fish, right? Oh, there's fish. Nibblefish. Alright, so... No recipe selected. I think to start we want dry wood. So let's just get a drying rack. It seems like we're going to need multiple drying racks here pretty darn quick. Let's go ahead and expand this out just a little bit further. Alright, so we've got some wood drying now. We've got our storage yard is getting stacked up for sure. Now we do have some speed controls. Let's take a look at these other tips that are popping up though. We got farms. A drying rack, we put that down. See, it produce items without needing a drifter present to select what the farm needs to produce. Gotcha. And then production limits. For every producible item, a production limit can be set. You can do this. Okay, so, you know, obviously you're not going to want too much. See, when a limit is reached, the relevant producer will stop producing. I'll need to get into that via the production limit panel. Now, where is the production limit panel? Oh, here we go. So there's the production limit panel there. I'm just going to leave those uh, full open right now and let them go ham and do their thing. I wonder how long it takes the drying rack to produce. Oh, here it is here. It actually goes relatively quick. Anyway, like I said, I do see some speed controls here, so we can speed it up. Let's just put it on the times two here. Get these guys kicking out a little bit more. Man, I'm almost wondering, do I want another drying rack? I mean, I can always switch it to fish later. And more storage. Let's see, let's put another storage unit here. How do I change? It looks like I gotta offset them just a little. See, there's another storage. We need some more plastic before we can get another drying rack. Oh wow, man, they are going ham on collecting this stuff. We're gonna run out of uh, run out of plastics and wood really quickly here. Let's get one more drying rack going, just to keep uh, this process moving a little bit quicker. Uh-oh, and he is tired. So we've got one that's tired now, I don't even have water production in yet. Let's see, we've got three wood that's dry and ready to go. It seems like I gotta get this water in first. Sorry y'all, you're gonna have to stay up late, so forgive me, forgive me. And then let's pick wood on that one too. That way we can get this dry wood going. Hopefully get these uh, basic producers going a little bit quicker. I need two more wood and six more plastics. So, I mean, there's still plenty of plastic laying around. These guys have got quite the swim to get over here. That is a long haul. I'm curious if they're sharks. <laughs> All right, are there gonna be any sharks? Now this little fishing dealy here doesn't seem that far off. Maybe I need to make a boat and get some fishing over, but first things first, we're still waiting for the wood here. Looks like we are just about there. Now how big is this? Actually a pretty good size. Let's just plop it down. Let's plop it down right there, and I feel like... I need to start expanding out over this way. Wow, it seems like I am just chewing through these plastics quick. I mean, we've got a bunch of wood stored now. we still got the one guy that's tired. Poor little fella. See, for a small house, I tell you what, let's get... Let's just get another pathway headed off. Like right there. 
We'll kind of get a... We got a lot of tired folks here already. Sorry, drifters. Y'all got to get the basics in place. Okay, fresh water and fuel. Oh, wow. You need, well, I mean, it makes sense. You are distilling it. So we're going to need some fuel in that bad boy. So I wonder how we put the firewood in it. Fresh water. Hmm. Quenches thirst of drifters. We got the queue set up. Now, are these guys... Or no, it's saying we're still missing the fuel source. Do I need to create the firewood? Is that what the deal is, maybe? Import and export. Alright, so we want to import wood? No? Let me pause it again here and look through this. See if there is an item listing for the distiller itself. It's fuel... Some workshops will need fuel to function. What fuels a workshop takes can be found in the workshop panel. When a fuel type has been chosen, drifters will go and fill it up when the fuel is available. Okay, so I don't have any of that fuel type available is what it is. It definitely takes firewood. Let's see, is there a place to craft firewood? That is all building here. Town inventory, a map. Man, we got a ton of wet wood. Oh, we got some canned food going here, too. I'm not seeing. Overview of all drifter assignment priorities. So that'll be for fine tuning a little. Now, how do I make the wood? Research. Imagine that. Let's see. A fishing hut. I'm not sure seeing really how to convert the wood into firewood. I do need to get a small house going here though, as these folks need to get some rest. So let's put let's put a house there. I'll go ahead and let these run now. Let's see if we can't figure out this firewood situation. Hmm, I'm not seeing anything there. I mean, is there like a basic crafting bench? A woodworking shed? I should have went with the woodworking shed first, but we've got plenty of resources for it. Let's go ahead and get our woodworking shed. Let's just plop it right here for now. Just to see how it works. Well, you can sleep now, but y'all haven't figured out how to use your fancy schmancy distillery over here quite yet. Looks like we're filling up on storage pretty quick, too. Yeah, we got one sleeping already. Looks like their little nap cycles go pretty quick. That one's in and out of bed already, so super fast. Probably tough to sleep with this with this dude hammering right next to me here. Huh? That could be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> so I'm assuming with the woodworking shed, I'm going to have to pick uh, a recipe that it's working on, perhaps, right? That would make the most sense. All right, what do we have? We got rope. We got firewood. Well... We need some firewood, so let's get the firewood going right away. How many do we want? Now how do you queue them up? Oh, here you go, plus one. Let's just queue up a full row. I don't want to use up all of my dry wood. Wow, this poor guy has got to swim, but look, this area is completely cleared out already. We've still got a lot of plastics and some wood and stuff over here. 
thinking we should expand out a little bit more, maybe? Or do we want to go off... Off the side like this? Let's go one off that way. And then now, as soon as this firewood gets done, they're going to auto-put that into the distiller, I'm assuming. And get that water producing right away. Looking good. Looks like uh, we might run out of storage units here pretty quick. Actually, that one's only half full. This one's starting to fill up a little. We don't have many plastics left. I'm going to end up running low on plastics. I'm wondering what is going to be able to be salvaged from over here. And then there's also other little plastic wrecks, right? Is there going to be more plastic laying around? You would think. There's a bunch of wood. Wood. Oh, here's another big pool of plastic. There's a bunch out here. So I think it might be a matter of getting a, a little boat made. Oh, wow. It knocked all those firewoods out already. Holy crap, Ola. Now, I don't want to burn through it all too fast. Feels like... Let's see, what would be next? Let's see, a workshop. We've got... We've got the distillery. Looks like we need a mooring point, so we're going to need one rope. Let's go ahead and get just a couple of rope made. Eh, let's just go ahead and fill the queue up there. That's going to eat through quite a bit of our dry wood, but that's alright. We still got a, a bit floating there. And then this rope is going to allow us to get a mooring point. And then the mooring point, we're going to be able to get some boats going out. Fishing boats. And a salvaging boat. Ocean garbage and scavenge islands. Alright, so the salvaging boat is what I will send over here. Or is this too big for a salvaging boat? I'm not even sure. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. we got a bunch of sleepy mofos, though, and only one little place for them to sleep. Need lots more houses. Many, many more. And I think maybe we will turn... Let's turn this one to fish for now, since we've got so... Eh, you know what? We'll leave it on wood for the moment. Why not? I mean, we have no use for wet wood, right? I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with wet wood. Alright, now what is our inventory looking like? We've got a bunch of wet wood, so yeah, I need to leave these drying racks going. We do have the rope now, though. So we can get our mooring point in. Where do we want it, though? Man, I'm running into... I'm going to have the area really crowded up really quick, it seems like. Let's go ahead and get it in. We'll just slap it down right there. And then that, of course, is going to allow me to do the salvage. I'm thinking I need to get a fishing boat first. Go a fishing boat first and go get some grub. Because we're going to be running out of food here pretty quick. we got 28 canned food left. And I do think we're going to need some more storage as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop down one more storage just to be safe. Now, did that expand me all the way? Well, I guess it has to be built first before I can tell. See, now what do we want this working on now? We can get another round of firewood going, of course. Now, eventually I'll want to just, once I keep a, a supply going, I'll want to uh, just let these auto queue and just let them run. Nice little start to our uh, floating hovel, though. I'm excited to see where the game goes. I'm gonna, I am gonna—I don't want to make this very first, first look video too long, but on the same note, I do want to get some of the basics down just to see how it's all functioning. Now let's take a look at our people. See, it looks like people are doing relatively good right now. They're all tired, and they're starting to get hungry as well. Alright, so I'm completely running out of plastics now. This buoy marker completely disappeared on me. So let's go ahead and get another little swimming area going. 
right over there. That catches almost all of that plastic. It's not going to get that one. But they will get most of these squared away. And it burns through this firewood relatively quick, huh? Oh, wow. Each one takes two firewood. Okay, I see. So, all right, we've got our mooring point down now, so it's time to think about some food. And I need more plastic, so I just need this stuff to get collected up. Is there any other... Oh, oh, oh! Is that a whale? That is clearly a whale. That's pretty damn cool. Well, he's not eating anything, at least. Man, I almost feel like I need to starve him a little bit more and get the salvaging boat going first. I cleared out that big old bit of plastic and stuff that was really close to me super quick. See, okay, that swimming buoy disappeared too. Now let me see. If I just select that, will they swim over to it? Yeah, okay, they will swim over to it. So there's no reason for me to have them connected like that. So that's awesome. Alright, let's see. Here we go. We got a boat. Do I want food or do I want more plastic? I feel like I need more plastic first. So sorry, y'all. I got a bunch of uh, dried wood y'all can chew on over here. Oh, and it looks like one mooring point per, per boat. So I'm going to need to expand out my walkway as well. Which means I'm going to need plastic. I just need to get a boat going. I need to get it. I mean, we're going to pick up some plastic from over here, but it's just not going to be enough to get much done. See, it looks like we ran out of firewood. That's actually not... Man, it's burning through the firewood so fast. That's crazy. So, we got that done. Let's pause it here and take a look at the interface on the boat. Okay, here we go. We got tips right up here. Okay, workshops we've gone to already. Let's look at boats. Okay, boats can be used for various tasks like salvaging and fishing. Every boat needs a mooring point. To build a boat, you simply need a free mooring point to place it on. Drifters can use any mooring point to moor their boat. This is an empty mooring point. Okay, we got mooring points. Different boats have different specialties. Drifters need a specific boat for certain tasks. A salvaging boat is needed to salvage resources in the ocean or on landmarks. Now, I do have a salvaging boat, and I do have a landmark right here. So, I mean, do I not want to send this boat? over to there or here we go so if I if I salvage the sailboat that's what I get I get a sail four rope and five metal scraps so let's let's go ahead and salvage that I want to see this boat going here I mean do we even have enough people oh man we got somebody getting hungry now okay there goes the boat so it's doing its thing. It's getting on over there. Now I'm wondering if I can have the boat like auto collect this area of plastics. I mean, I'm going to have to wait for it to get back to see. And then I need to get a fishing boat going really quick like. Let's go ahead and expand this path out. Ooh, I need plastics for that. All right, where am I going to get new pla more plastics? I still got a little bit here that these haven't picked up yet. Man, you need the plastics for everything. Holy crap. Well, there's no shortage of them. It's just getting to them. Okay, it looks like the boat is coming back. They're hungry. But I need that boat to go after some plastics here. And I'm not really sure how to set that up. So I'm going to have to queue that up here in just a moment. We'll check that out. Let's see. Can the boat 
salvage this stuff? Or I need to set a point for it, right? See, we got a swimming point. Oh, okay, it placed a salvaging buoy. Well, that is what we need, is these plastics right here. So let's throw a salvaging buoy down. And then is the boat... Yeah, the boat's going to automatically go to it. So that is absolutely perfect. All right, so I don't want to make this video, video too long. I do want to play through the game a little bit more. Um, I'm super stoked about the game. Like I said, it releases in two days. Uh, September 26th on Steam into Early Access. Uh, there's not a price point listed for it yet. Uh, as soon as I know, I will let you all know. But I can't wait to see where Flotsam goes, to be honest with you. It's got... It's got a lot of the makings of what could be a really fun city builder type management game. And I'm definitely looking forward to diving deeper and to checking out all that is available for Flotsam. So let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more of Flotsam. I would love to put more of it on the channel. And I will see you soon and be back next time, hopefully, with some more Flotsam. Thanks again, y'all. Have a great day.